Thanks, Bevan. On a night like this, with winds and a confirmed fire danger, the last thing we need is another arsonist. But that's what firefighters think they had in Covina tonight when a church caught on fire. This happened at St. John's Lutheran Church on East Covina Boulevard. While police were home enjoying the holiday, someone vandalized the church and then set it aflame. Patrick Healy is live in Covina. He's got the latest for us. Patrick? Well, Kelly, the intact exterior of St. John Lutheran belies the burn damage, smoke, water, and vandalism on the inside. Now, police have some teenagers they want to question, but at this point, the question is not only who, but why. It's beyond me. I, ha I have no idea whatsoever. When Tim Northrup and other shocked members of St. John's Lutheran began arriving, the arson fires were already out, but the vandals had left their mark everywhere not just starting fires in the church and in a trophy case in the fellowship hall, but streaking the gym floor with blue and orange paint and making a mess of the daycare room where they also broke into the payment box, leaving the checks but taking some $500 in cash. I think to show off to each other, to, to brag to their friends. It was very sloppy. Uh, they just came in here to destroy and that's what they did. And they're here long enough to be able to do quite a bit of yes, damage. Yes, sir. Uh, my estimation, they were here at least a half hour longer. With everything closed for Thanksgiving, once the vandals had broken in, they had free reign until the fire inside got big enough to be noticed outside. We have several eyewitnesses that believe that several juveniles, 10 to 14 year old, years old, may have uh, been the cause of it. Among the witnesses, this young woman who requested we protect her identity. I noticed one guy in particular, he's like... He's walking around like he's proud. He's just like skipping around like he's really proud. And I was like, that's wrong. And that's when I told the police. Meantime, back at St. John's, members of the congregation boarded up a broken window, wondering if they can get the church ready in time for Sunday services. If we have to move into the, into the gymnasium for worship service, we the, the Lord doesn't matter where we where we gather to, to sing him praise. Congregation members tell of a, of a smaller fire two years ago, but again, it was set outside the church, but nothing like the damage done today. And again, police not specifically identifying suspects, but there are teenagers they want to question. Live in Covina, Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News. Paul.